Tonight on the show, we've got one of the stars of Peep Show, where you can hear what people are thinking. <gasps> I wonder what my audience are thinking. I should have gone to the toilet before the show started. I'm going to the toilet now. I like cheese. Hmm, I wonder if I'll be able to pull the lady next to me. I really hope that man doesn't talk to me. I like ice cream as well. Oh, when's he going to say, let's start the show? Now, let's start the show! And in return, I can tell you, we've got a real treat for you tonight. On the show, the global superstar that is Jennifer Lopez, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right here on this show. I know Jennifer Lopez, right there, right there. <laughs> Cricket legend and star of League of Their Own, Freddie Flintoff is here. <laughs> woo! Woo! Comedian, actor, all-round funny man, David Mitchell is on the show. <laughs> Plus... We've got a real treat, a performance from my favourite new West End musical, The Stars of Once are here, everybody. <laughs> now... Honestly, I'm not saying... I really, really love this music. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful story about a, a busker who falls in love. It's based on a true story, because, you know, buskers are such romantic figures, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's <got a> smart hat. <laughs> Hey, it's welcome back to David Mitchell. Now, I'll be, uh, I'll be talking to David about uh, the big changes in his life, not least his very impressive new beard. Mmm! Check that out. It's all the rage. Even Cliff Richard has been seen out with a rather unlikely beard. <laughs> I say. Uh, hey, a uh, big welcome to the show to Freddie Flintoff, everybody. Yes! Now... Freddie does have a bit of a reputation uh, as a drinker, but when he was little, oh, such a lovely baby. Really was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, cricket, what an exciting sport, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know, I was watching when England played New Zealand last week and the crowd, oh, on the edge of their seats. <laughs> <laughs> the back edge of their seats. <laughs> hey, I'm delighted to welcome back to the show the wonderful Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> oh. Oh. Known the world over as J-Lo. J-Lo. You know, that sort of nickname works for an American, doesn't it? But when it's done in Britain, not so cool. Like, we get Bojo, <laughs> Subo, <laughs> and Oh My God No. <laughs> uh, Jennifer is also such a fashion icon. Uh, this was probably her most famous outfit. Yeah. Bright green with a daring plunging neckline. Where have I seen that before? <laughs> Let's get some guests on! Later, we'll be having music from the stars of Once! But first, it's my favorite comedian, when I lie to you, it's David Mitchell! <laughs> Woo! I'll come this way, I'll come this way. Hello, sir, Hello. you're very welcome. Have a seat. Thank you. How's that for a guest? It's Freddie Flintoff! <laughs> wow! Hello, sir. Very nice to see you. Nice to see you. Time to say hey to the old hello to J-Lo! Oh! Oh! I'm pleased you're all here, but I'm especially pleased you're here. <laughs> <laughs> No, because there's something about you. There's something about like David, Freddie, lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> You're very good at what you do. But I could see you just walking down the street. Like you couldn't be sat in the audience. People would go, why is there an international superstar in the audience? <laughs> you couldn't look at Pedro Thank you. No, I can walk down the street sometimes. I do. But people are going, oh my God, there's an international superstar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Jennifer, you know what cricket is. Cricket. 
It's like it's. Isn't it's... that the one with the things on the floor and you put them with the balls? No, and that's stuff? croquet. Yeah. Oh. We don't have an international croquet star. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We could have. Uh, you uh, cancelled. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, cricket is. It's like it. You know, because in uh, Jenny the Block, you're playing. Now, what's that? Is that uh, baseball? That was softball. Stick ball. Stick ball. Which is that's a bit like cricket, isn't it? It's hard to. It's, 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 it's not hard like to baseball. Explain. It's probably the closest. Sport in America is baseball, but cricket, it lasts five days. We break every now and then for food. <laughs> and we spend a lot of time rubbing our balls on our trousers. <laughs> um, what? He's not even joking. No. <laughs> Why do you say it, it's like baseball, though? I've never seen a cricket match, so I don't know. I think just because there's a ball and you try and hit it, I think okay, that's the only With a stick. You hit it with a stick. And you run bases as well? You run in between wickets. Um, on a pitch. Uh, <laughs> in between the yeah, pocket and crease. Yeah. Like basketball. Yeah, and there's... <laughs> yeah, it's like a cross between the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got it. And yeah, keep talking to me, because I'll be yeah. like, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, just yeah. like that, I think, yeah. It's a hard sell, isn't it? It really is a hard sell. <laughs> no, because, uh, of course, you're not the only sex object on the couch, Jennifer Rubens. Is she, David? Because Freddie Flintoff is also <laughs> very, very hot. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> you are silly! That's mean. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're mean and stupid. No, wait, you see, look at him. This is you boxing. Hello. Oh, yeah. You look like a waxwork there. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a strange thing, like boxing, you go for the weigh-in and you turn up in a room full of men in your pants. It was like, um, <laughs> I got to meet him for the first time and we were sat there chatting away. This fellow's from America, he'd been sent down for GBH, he'd been shot four times, he was a debt collector. And he said, what about you, Fred? Well, yeah, I used to play cricket, you know. We, <laughs> we used to stop for sandwiches. I'm really, I'm really good at this. <laughs> he must have been so humiliated then when you won. Oh, it's end of his career, isn't it? <laughs> oh, do you think you'll ever do it again? No. No. No, no I ripped my shoulder afterwards. I have to have surgery. Oh. Um, so it's the ultimate get-out, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like you're going to get injured on that couch. You, you injure I'm, yourself a lot, don't you? Yeah, I had surgery playing cricket 15 times, and oh trust me, God. to have surgery playing cricket, Stood in a field is quite an effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I tease you, David, but you do have a sort of online fan base of ladies. Well, I, I wouldn't call it a fan base, but <laughs> I've been on television, and consequently, <laughs> someone on the internet has said they fancied me. I mean, it's just, it's inevitable. If you're, if you're on television, there will be someone. <laughs> there are eight billion people in the world. Someone <laughs> fancies everything. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you know, it's just, it's just thanks to technology, I'm able to receive a message from a stranger <laughs> who doesn't find me disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> or does find me disgusting, but that's what turns them on. Woo! Ego boost. Hey, uh, Jennifer, you are incredibly busy. At the moment. Right now, yes. Yeah, you just finished World Tour, new single out, album on the way, business ventures. Yes. And on top of that, you're doing what a lot of people would find a full time job. You've got twins. Yes. Five year old twins. Yes. Oh. I do. They are Best very thing. cute. Uh, Max and Emmy. Yes. And now, I've heard you talking about that even at five, you can see kind of the real difference between like a boy and a girl. Oh my God. From from when they were very, very small, I could see it. I, I and actually understood men and women more. I realized that men really do think differently than women from the onset, from the go. It's just like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you need an operation? Uh, I, talk <laughs> <laughs> I talk with my hands, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, there's definitely, a, you know, a different way of thinking. So like, they're both learning how to walk. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, you know, my son is like, starts two weeks before my daughter. I remember it very clearly. And he kind of just starts to go down the stairs, da -da 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 -da, down the stairs. Does it every day for two weeks. Okay, my daughter's like, two weeks. <laughs> Toe, back, <laughs> you know? Toe, foot, back. And then two weeks later, she just walks down the stairs. Do you know what I mean? So I broke it down to, which I don't know, sometimes sounds good, that sounds, doesn't sound so good, that women think or tend to overthink and men do not think <laughs> at all. <laughs> and they both have pros and cons. Oh, but, 
like oh, we're women. women now. Yeah. <laughs> but it, they both have pros and cons because I think women tend to overthink. So then you kind of forgive guys a little bit for being. Oh, so that's nice. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it teaches you. It's yeah. nice. It's a yeah. good thing. And because uh, Freddie, you've got so three, three kids. Three you've kids. Got, got a daughter who's eight, Holly, and the boys are seven and five, Corey and Rocky. And very different. Um, Rocky, when I called him Rocky, I didn't expect a Justin Bieber fan. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, Freddie, what the hell did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're very different. He's into uh, singing, dancing. He got a drum kit for his fifth birthday. So cute. Um, I actually went to see Justin Bieber in concert. And we got a meet and greet, and it was the most bizarre thing ever. It was in this big queue, and this big American fella gave us a briefing. He said, you can't touch Justin, don't ask him for autographs, don't kiss him. I said, mate, I've been to Buckingham Palace, we didn't get this. This is <laughs> an like 18-year-old lad. Yeah, but what did you do at Buckingham Palace? <laughs> Maybe the words got round when you tried to get off with the Queen. Yeah. He's a big kisser, Freddie. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, are they so young, do they remember you playing cricket? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> they were good! Yeah, the, the, the boys, they've got no idea. They're not quite sure what Daddy does. I take them to school most days, and all the other parents have got suits on, they're going to work. I go home and watch the History Channel Storage Wars. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> amazing program. <laughs> um, they, they, they think um, I used to work for Morrison Supermarket because I've done an advert. <laughs> so they, they go in the supermarket expecting discount, or they think um, <laughs> a fashion designer with Giacomo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's fun though with the kids. Amazing. Because David, you have a brother, mm -hmm. but you were an only child for quite a long time. Yeah, well, yes, I was, he's eight years younger than me, so I was very much defined as a human before my parents <laughs> said that I was going to be lucky enough to have a, a, a younger brother or sister, at which point I was, I was extremely sceptical as to whether this was a good thing, I must say. <laughs> How did they break it to you? But they, they said they broke it to me like it was good news, like it was... A, <laughs> like it was um, yeah. I, I'm, I, and I'm, you know, I must say now I, I love my brother very much, we, we get on very well, but when you're seven or eight, they said, they said to me, OK, you know how you like having friends round to, to sort of play and that, that, that's a nice thing? Well, you're going to have a brother or sister to play with all the time. And uh, immediately this just didn't work mathematically. Uh, because I, when you're seven years old, you're not interested in playing with six-year-olds or five-year-olds. Never mind naught-year-olds. <laughs> in answer whether in some month's time, a creature who could not yet speak would arrive and they would be useless at pretending to be Doctor Who. <laughs> Um, so I sort of I proposed that the the whole thing be called off, <laughs> um, but apparently that wasn't possible. <laughs> I, think, I think when you have kids as well, you're not expecting Google, are you? Because when my kids get up to the age where they're going to Google my name, I've got some explaining to do. <laughs> you, know, you can't ask like the search engine. It's it's going to yeah. be a tricky time. You, you'll hear some of those stories later, Jennifer. Yeah, I, won't, yeah, yeah. I won't spoil them for you now. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> <laughs> now the last time you were here, Jennifer, was, was as an actress. Yes. But now you return as a pop star. Yeah, I yeah. have my, I have different moments. Yeah. And the new single, Live It Out, that's released on the 20th, oh, it's out, 26th May. Yeah, it just came out. And the album, there is an album. It's not done yet. It'll, oh, there it'll probably isn't be out in November. Oh, okay, also, yeah, yeah. are you still doing that now? I'm still working on it, yeah. Uh, now, your boyfriend, Casper Smart, he choreographed the video. Yes, yeah. And is it awkward when it's your boyfriend teaching your routine, kind of saying, not like that? No, it's not awkward. It's fine. Like, we kind of collaborate on it. You know what I mean? It's basically like they show me something and I'm like, oh, I like that. I like that. Let's change this. Let's do that. You know, it's about, I, I think at the end of the day, they want me to feel comfortable. Do you, you know? do exactly what you want? Uh, <laughs> a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, that was very good, Jennifer. Was Thank good. you. <laughs> no, what no, you were no. doing. Listen, Excellent. you want people who are going to tell you, you know, you don't look good doing that. Stop that. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Things like that. Or like, this is really good on you. We're going to change this step or whatever. Yeah. yeah for never sure. do that again. Yeah. yeah like... Don't ever. <laughs> I know where it's going. No, no, Go ahead. But, no I'm just going to know where, 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 where it's going is we're going to watch a bit. Okay. Yeah, we're going to watch. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to watch a bit and, and listen to it and everything. Wow. It's Color. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's got everything. It's got disco whistle. Dis the disco whistle. I love the disco. I've heard a disco whistle in a thousand years. I know. They said that on the radio today when I was on the radio. They were like a disco whistle. <laughs>